so if you have a Go XLR and you're trying to use NVIDIA Shadow Player or OBS and for some reason the broadcast stream mix is not working, this is the tutorial for you because what I had an issue with is whenever I would have Shadow Play on, it just would not record more than one audio source even if it was the mixed stream that comes with the Go XLR. So we're going to do a workaround and it is going to require Virtual Audio Cable, the free version. So we're going to go ahead and download that. This is the website right here. You're going to want to download the one for whatever you're running. And then after that, you're going to want to restart your PC and return to this video real quick. Restarting your PC is essential for this part, so make sure you do that. All right, so once VB Audio Cable is installed, you're going to want to type into Windows Sound Settings, and that's how I open up this window right here. We're going to be going down here to App, Volume, and Device Preferences. And so first, if we're going to be doing the Shadow Play part, you're going to want to set your NVIDIA container output to cable input and the input to the broadcast stream mix. NVIDIA container, by the way, is how NVIDIA Shadow Play gets all of the Shadow Play's audio. You can check it down here. NVIDIA container has its separate thing. And if this line is not playing, like there's music playing and there's no green line here as if there's sound, that means NVIDIA container is not picking up audio. And when you press record, when your Shadow Play button, it will not have audio in it. So. We're going to go ahead and set that to input and broadcast stream mix and then you're going to also open up shadow play here real quick which is alt z by default and before you turn it on make sure you have it turned off for this you're going to go hit the settings go to audio and make sure you hit separate both tracks this is honestly a much better way of saving shadow play storage have your microphone set to chat mic and then we're going to exit out of this you don't have to turn it on quite yet we're not there yet so once we do that, we're going to want to go down here, right click, sounds, and this is the sound control panel. This is the easiest way of getting to it. You have all your sounds in here. What you're going to want to do is on playback is set the cable input to default communications device while keeping your playback device at default. Make sure that they are separate. Make sure that this is how it is. In the recording tab, you're going to want to have your chat mic still at default and do nothing to the cable output. So other tutorials would have you um, doing cable output and having listen that way, but that doesn't mean it's listening to the broadcast stream mix, which is what we want. But basically what you're gonna do in recording is the broadcast stream mix, right click, go to properties, go to listen, and click on listen to this device. And then in the playback device, you're going to set it to cable input. Um, and we're going to have to be careful with what we have on the broadcast stream mix because as you can see, it is not picking up me speaking, although the other two are. Um, broadcast stream mix will by default in the Go XLR program be ticked off with your mic. And if you are doing this where you are separating your mic from the broadcast stream mix, you're going to want to go into your Go XLR program and untick this. Make sure this little box is unticks right there. In OBS it is also quite simple. You just want to go to your settings, go to audio, set your mic slash auxiliary audio one to the broadcast stream mix and provided that you do not have the chat mic checked off to go through the broadcast stream mix, on the second one you're going to want to select chat mic. So everything except your mic is going to be going on this one which is right here, the stream mix and then your mic is only going to be going on the chat mic. You can see that if I were to not do it this way, if I were to open up the GoXLR app and make sure that my mic is going through the broadcast stream mix, you can see that we have double audio. And if we do that, if we wanted to just have one audio source in OBS, we would not be able to use broadcast stream mix the same way in Shadow Play. So if you are someone who streams and also records using Shadow Play and you have a Go XLR, which is a very niche thing, you know, it's like no wonder there are no tutorials about this, you're going to want to separate them this way using virtual audio cable. Um, and just to show you that it works, I mentioned earlier, it will not show a green bar here if audio is not being recorded. So you will see if I were to turn off Shadow Play, pull up like a Tarkov video. Oh, how are you over there? No way. Yep, he's uh, on the pillars. You can see that container is not doing anything. But if I were to turn it on, right? He's now dead. Now it's recording stuff. Watch out, there might where? be two. 
So yeah, you can see it works in Shadow Play and OBS, and it requires like zero effort. So I mean, this is the simplest solution there is, you know. So there's bound to be some sort of thing where it doesn't work for someone out there. So hopefully it works for you, and I will see you around.